Welcome to Voodoo Whiskey Gaming, and this is my late review of Psychonauts 2. I play it on the PS5, it's also available on the PS4, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and PC. So this is the long-awaited true sequel to Psychonauts. And the first thing I'm going to say about the story is there is a warning at the beginning of this game saying that it like dives into some mental illness stuff and I thought, you know, okay, I get what they're saying. But wow, they weren't kidding about it. They go into some serious mental health issues in this game. And yes, they do take it with a bit of humor as much as they can, just because, you know, this is kind of a fun and wacky game overall. But I will say I never felt like they were being disrespectful. But let's get into the story. You once again play as Raz, and you are not really a Psychonaut. You become an intern. But you also find out that there is a mole in the Psychonauts, and they are trying to bring back a big, powerful, evil psychic named Maligula. And basically, that's your goal, is to find out who the mole is, who's trying to bring her back. Unsurprisingly, you meet a wacky cast of characters along the way, and I really actually liked all of the characters, even at times. I was like, mm, don't know, but I really did enjoy them. And this game is actually really funny, and it has some great moments that just kind of leave you going, what the fuck did I just see? Which is kind of weird, given the cartoon element of this game, but I really loved the writing. So I gotta say, I was actually really happy with the story, and it really took me by surprise at, like, how serious it could be, and how dark it got, and how much it delved into some important issues, really. But at the same time, could keep it light when it could. Now let's get into the audio, and first off is the voiceover work, and I think it's wonderful in this game. I think they did a great job matching voice actors to characters and getting the right tone. As well as for the sound effects, they really match what's going on. They take you back to the original Psychonauts for some of the powers and what's going on, but they really work for just everything going on. Although I will say there's not enough ambient noise in certain areas, which leads into the music issue, which while the music is good and I do like the music, there are times where there isn't enough music and there isn't enough ambient noise, so it just gets oddly quiet in some places. But overall, I was very happy with it. Now let's get into the gameplay mechanics and whatnot, and this is a third-person action platformer. And like any good platformer, you get a variety of abilities so that you can explore and engage in the combat in this game. And the exploration ties directly into upgrading your abilities. When you're going around each level, you collect a variety of things, the emotional baggage, the nuggets, the figments, and all of these things give you points as well as the psi cards and psi cores, etc. These increase your intern level as well as they increase your points so that you can spend points to upgrade your powers. So there's no shortage of collectibles in this game, but then when you get into the combat, I think it works well. You can use all of your abilities in combat for a variety of things, but at the same time, you can use all of them for a variety of exploration elements as well. And it wouldn't be a platformer without the puzzle element, and they do a really good job of incorporating puzzle elements into the actual, like, world, as well as at times, really well into the story. So I just thought that that was really cool, like, giving the puzzles a reason to exist. Because there's a lot of games where they're just silly things, like, you have to figure out these puzzles so that you can get to a Switch or something. They don't have a great, like, in-world reason. Now let's get into the controls, and I'm going to say, for the most part, I felt like they worked very well. But there were definitely a few times during, like, exploration, as well as the combat, where I feel like they didn't respond the way I needed them to. Which is obviously frustrating, because it definitely led to some deaths. I don't know, maybe it was a little bit of gameplay, but there were definitely times where I just didn't feel like it worked as well as it could. But for the most part, it worked well. Now lastly, the graphics and visuals, and this game really just captures the original Psychonauts vibe so perfectly, it's kind of mind-blowing. Obviously, it does look better, there's a lot more detail in the world, because, well, they're capable of putting a lot more detail in the world, but it still has that very weird, weird art style that just works in the Psychonauts world, but it also has that very cartoony look that the first game had. It just looks better. It obviously looks clean running on the new consoles. It's a really bright and colorful and weird world. And if you played the original Psychonauts, then you're going to feel right at home 
in this game. They do such a good job just making it feel like you just finished the new one. It hasn't been a huge amount of time in between games. But the second I saw that art style, I was pulled back into the world. And it is weird, and I will say there are some levels that are just kind of gross. They are. They're just really kind of gross, but they do this great job bringing them to life, which I kind of love and hate because I admire that they did such a good job, but at the same time, you're like, this is disgusting. But they just did such a great job with representing everything they were trying to do from the mental illnesses to the characters to the wacky fun. They just, they brought it all to life so very well from a visual standpoint. So to wrap this up, I honestly think this is a good sequel. This is the sequel we've been waiting for from Psychonauts because, quite frankly, you never want that sequel that just doesn't live up, especially to a cult classic game like Psychonauts. So, I gotta say, I was really happy with it. I can understand if this isn't for everyone. And I will say, it definitely handles some much heavier topics and gets much darker than I was expecting. But overall, I really enjoyed it. And if you're okay with those things, if you played the original it's absolutely worth playing. Okay, so in the comments down below, why don't you tell me, is there a game that you're waiting for a sequel on? It's Time Splitters, isn't it? As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. And if you like what I'm doing in general, share and subscribe. Have a good one.